soccer aid party into full swing. England, who are smarting from losing the last three soccer aids in a row, this year captained by a man who wants to take them in just one direction. Liam Payne makes his soccer aid debut and his latest collaboration is with this lot. And there is Usain Bolt just deciding that he's going to place the Ukrainian flag captain's armband on the arm of Andrei Shevchenko. A touching moment that, an act of recognition of the suffering of the people of Ukraine. That was pretty special. So it's Andrei Shevchenko that will wear the soccer aid for UNICEF World 11 armband. And Mark Pattenberg blows his whistle. We are underway. Soccer aid 2022. <laughs> Only in soccer aid would you say the phrase much longer in the way it's ahead. Cafu just dragging the ball just narrowly wide of the upright. No problems for David James in the England goal. Might have a little change of formation here. Yeah? Well Bolt the target again. Just couldn't control the volley. Good ball in from Everett. Noble. Grenin. Noble's gone on one, Noah Beck trying to hold on to him, but Grennan is going for it, and Petacek has to bring out a big left hand to tip it over the top. It's the first shot in anger we've had. It's taken 14 minutes, no surprise that it's Tom Grennan. Look at this. Gets out his right peg, and that is a hit. Well, there is Alex Brooker who is the first physically disabled player to participate in Socorro, bearing in mind his mum and dad were told he wouldn't walk that some achievement. He said that he would like to point out that he's right-footed, but he doesn't actually have a right foot. No bet. He's enjoying himself. He's had more touches of the ball than anybody else in the World Eleven side, and he's picked out a beautiful ball. What? That was gorgeous. That is outrageous. I want to marry that pass. Evra. Trying to charge into the box. Bolt is there! What a save that is from David James. That would have been a terrific goal. That gorgeous pass by Beck. Taken by that gorgeous man, Evra. Nice little dink into the centre. And I tell you what, he hits that. Yes, he does. Is David Harewood saving that? <laughs> well, we won't have to find out. Uh, until the second half, but that is a miraculous save, actually. And Berbatov, who is playing at times as a centre half, by the way. That's a that's a that's a lovely challenge by Carragher. I don't know what the referee is doing there. Cafu looking for strong. Shevchenko was in there, there as go. well. Here's Patrice Evans. He's been fouled, surely. It's got to be, and it's going to be a penalty. And I don't think Mark Plattenberg had much choice. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it's a very tight decision, that, to be well, fair. Chunks isn't happy, and maybe rightly so. If VAR was here, they might see that as a slight attempt by Patrice Evra to win a penalty. Only if uh, VAR was operated by one of Chunks' family members. Uh, it is a bit clumsy. You've got, you got to be honest. It was unfortunate. No. <laughs> Noah Beck. Noah Beck has been given the ball. The wonder kid. Yeah, he's got 33 million followers on TikTok. He's got 9 million on Instagram, and this could be an Instagrammable moment. It's Noah Beck against David James. Beck slams it in. What a goal that is. The World Eleven took their time before taking the lead last year, but not tonight. And Noah Beck slams home the penalty. I tell you what, he's got 9 million and one followers now, Sam. Pass me my phone, that boy can play football. Chunks with a cheeky look. Wenger unmoved. He will say about the incident, I didn't see it. I don't think David James saw that. I tell you what, that is a penalty, by the way. Two David Jameses couldn't have saved that.
Lee Max having flashbacks to last year. Brennan's lurking on the edge of the box and wants it back. This is Mark Price. It's a decent looking cross. Chunks bringing it down. Oh, now surely dear. that's a penalty. Oh, He's given dear. a penalty away to Noah Beck. And Noah Beck has brought him down to give one back. He's got to take it. Chunks has got to take it. Look at this touch by Chunks. And Noah Bex is aptly bamboozled by him. YouTube versus TikTok. YouTube comes out on top. Emma Hayes and Harry Redknapp happy. Chunks is going to take responsibility. Here we go. Now remember, Chunks missed the decisive penalty in 2020. Now, has, has Carragher pulled rank? He has. He's going to allow, I think, is it Mark Noble, Tom Brennan? What? What's the situation here? They're not 100% sure. And, is uh, that Mark Harry... Wright going over, trying to get someone else to take the penalty? No, Mark Wright has come over to Harry Redknapp, had a chat, and the decision has been made that it is going to be Mark Wright. OK. I'm not entirely happy about that, but Mark Wright scored in a Man of the Match appearance in uh, 2016. I tell he you is what. a West Ham fan, he's buzzing to be playing at their home. I'll tell you what, if he misses this now... Chunks wanted it, but <laughs> and he's whipping up the crowd. It's Mark Wright against Petr Cech. It's right in the corner. Yeah. One happy hammer. In the level just before the break. And it's Mark Wright from the spot. And it might have been the right call. Who knows, we'll never know. Mark Wright steps up, Petr Cech goes the right way, but doesn't get enough on it. Damian Lewis replacing Chunks at half-time. Are you still a little bit annoyed that Chunks didn't get to take the penalty, aren't you? I just thought it would be poetry in motion if Chunks had taken that pen. Brennan. Oh, and he's yeah. outpacing Comston here. It's Grennan! Oh, that's terrific! And boy, does he deserve it! What a goal from Tom Grennan to give England the lead! Moments after half-time. That is a magic moment from Tom Grennan. We warned you. We warned you that first half was action-packed and now you've got the celeb goalkeepers. I don't, I don't think what the score could be at the end of the second half, Sam. Brilliant ball, ball by, by Howard. Russ Howard. And then look at this burning of pace from Tom Grennan past Constant. He arrowed that home. And he switched from the World Eleven to England. He was the best celeb on the pitch last year, really. Ex-Luton Town player, could have played soccer in America before his music career took off. But I tell you what, tonight he's getting more than just a little bit of love. Oh my God, they get better, they get better as we go on. It looks like it's more than cramp, this. Yeah, I think that's a hamstring. But they're, they're, they're actually with the officials on the touchline, arguing over the fact that uh, it's got to be a celebrity in goal. <laughs> yes, Alex. Yes, Alex. I bloody love Alex Brooker. Yeah, he's an absolutely brilliant character. Well, certainly Martin Comston, who's just been replaced, put his body on the line in the line of duty. Can you repeat that again for the pit tape? Ken! Here's Ken to equal the record past David Hayward. And he has tonight on Love Island. Equaling the record held by the great Clarence Seedorf, I bring you Ken Setanay of Love Island fame. Mistake at the back by England, converted by Ken, and it's England 2, World 11 2.
Back pass by Mark Wright. Well, it was a back pass play back towards David Harewood, but of course, because of the injury, he couldn't get there quick enough. And as a result of that, Kem Setena gets his fourth Soccer A goal. Last year's player of the match, applauded by Arsene Wenger. Chelsea Grimes trying to get into the box and she's taken out Mark Noble. <laughs> Lucky he retired last week because that was career ending. <laughs> what was interesting there, do you see that? Farah couldn't get there, so Noble had to get across. And then Chelsea Grimes with, uh, after escaping Mo Farah's attention. Now Keane. And it's Robbie Keane, saved brilliantly by Harewood. Great save that. Hanks is just hanging, waiting for the ball. Laid off to Joe Cole. Two waiting in the centre. Cole, Aluko. She can hit them. And he can hold them. Another impressive save. Ten seconds away from penalty kicks. It's this or penalties. Remember how often Lee Mack has been a pivotal figure in those over the years. The answer is once. Oh no, in penalties more. Yeah, three times. I there thought, you go. I the England coaching penalties. staff said it would be a miracle to get there, but for the fifth time in Soccer Aid history, the match will be decided by penalty kicks. It means all eyes will be on Lee Mack. 90 minutes of terrific entertainment. It finishes England 2, the World 11 2. Looks like it's going to be the World 11 who kick first. And Noah Beck who has already taken a brilliant penalty, is going to be the first one to take his kick from 12 yards. It's Noah Beck against David Harewood, and there's only one winner. Tom Grennan, who scored England's goal, is first up to face Tom Stoltman. How are your nerves? It's Grennan, it's over the bar. Ooh. And it remains 1-0. Any celebrity can take a penalty despite being substituted and Martin Compson is back to take one and back to score one. 2-0 to the World eleven. they've made the perfect start. Russell Howard steps up for England to try and get them on the score sheet. It's Russell Howard against Stoltman, it's, it's saved. saved! And what a save it was! Straight down the middle. Ken Sesame to really put the screws on England. It's Ken, it's 3-0. Oh dear. Mark Wright, who scored a penalty in the first half to keep England's faint hopes alive can he do it twice it's Mark Wright just about England cling to a little bit of hope it is time for Lee Mack who oh has missed God. three penalties in shootouts when playing for England this is it no one's going out now it's Lee Mack for the win it's Mack it's in! I get to see it again! Lee Mack! Super Lee Mack wins Soccer A 2022 for the World 11. They have done it again. They might as well take the trophy home. It almost belongs to them now. It's Connect 4. It's Lee Mack from the spot. He couldn't score when he was in the England team. He can't stop scoring now. I told you, I told you. And look at this. Here it goes the right way, but there's too much power on it. And that, my friends, is what you call a winner. Relationships that will endure. A celebration, entertainment, and a victory for the World Eleven on penalties. You say Bolt has the shield again. And he and Andrei Shevchenko lift the trophy into the air. The World Eleven are 
are the winners of Soccer A for a sixth time on penalties and in dramatic circumstances. A wonderful night capped with a wonderful goal. He spent hours practicing penalties last year. This year he didn't bother. He just hit one when it mattered and Bolt's team are victorious again. There's something about this stadium that brings the best out of Bolt and the World eleven, with Andre Shevchenko, the captain, and Lee Mack, the match winner, are victorious once again.